All right, guys, so welcome. So this is the, the contraption that I built out of a farm jack and some scrap metal that I had laying around here in the shop. Um, basically, it's, it's out of three main components. Is this here that I attach to the bottom of the pillar, you know, the bottom portion, this shaft here that I attach to the top portion of the pillar, and this farm jack that I bought on eBay for 55 bucks. This is a 60 inch farm jack. Um, I probably could have gone with a smaller one, but I just wanted to make sure that I had enough move, you know, enough uh, uh, room to move up and down if I needed to. Um, I cut it with a plasma torch. You probably can use, you, I don't see why you can't use something else, just like maybe a, a grinder with a cutoff wheel or something like that. I just, I'm lucky to have a plasma torch available to me. Um, it went easy as can be. Um, it was, I did this all by myself, the actual movement of moving the bus up. I did it by myself. I did two clicks here in the front. You know, I just click, click. This is, right now, this isn't holding anything up. I have these temporary one by ones holding the, the, the roof of the bus up. I just wanted to give you a visual of what it looked like here, you know, uh, attached to the actual bus. So anyways, I did this here by myself. I, I did two clicks in the front, went to the back, did two clicks in the back, and I just went back and forth um, till I got it up 21 inches. It worked out great. It was nice and sturdy. I never thought that at any moment it was gonna fall or it was kind of wobbly. No, it worked out awesome. Um, so if you're thinking of doing something like this, I really recommend do using this method. I'm gonna put all the measurements associated with all of this here um, in the post associated with this video. The measurements that I have are, you know, I don't know if they're gonna work with your bus. This here, this bus is a, to uh, a Thomas 2001 flat nose, 35 foot. Your bus, if it's different, these measurements might be different. So, you know, you might have to modify it a little bit. Um, it worked out great. So I have some video left. You know, the video that I had of this whole portion was destroyed in the, in, in my camera got, I think humidity got to it and, and destroyed the camera. So I do have some video left of me actually welding these stu this stuff together. Unfortunately, the video of me actually doing the lifting is gone. I haven't been able to recover that. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.